Ah yes, Banshee, the sound frame, a multi-purpose one. A feisty one, ain't she? As it should be, having a mixed bag of goodies, Banshee can be either the ultimate long-range sniper, a high-risk, high-reward melee assassin, or with the help of her utility and crowd control skills, she can be a jack of all trades. It all comes down to the build you use. What she does lack in, however, is survivability. Nothing that can be fixed with smart use of her abilities, though. Even so, expect to go down every now and then. As I've said, Banshee's versatility comes from her builds, so for the purpose of explaining her skills, I'll use this Jack of All Trades build, with only the augment changing as needed. And at the end I'll go through her two other specialized builds, what they are, how to use them, as well as pros and cons. Sonic Boom is your low-cost, go-to panic button. It knocks back every enemy in a cone in front of you while dealing minor damage. Use it to push enemies off ledges, objectives, or just to give yourself some breathing room to reload. With max range, the skill has quite a reach, couple that with max efficiency, and if there's a way to measure crowd control per energy cost, then this skill would surely be on top. But that's not all, oh no, because with the augment sonic fracture, the skill turns into every Greenier's nightmare, stripping 70% off a target's armor for 8 seconds. The skill really speeds up your ability to turn Greenier into Mushi Mushi. Yes. Oh, and this can be increased by power strength up to 100% armor stripping. Same goes for the duration of the debuff with duration mods. Remember when I said Banshee is the ultimate long range sniper? Well, here's why. Sonar reveals all targets in a 35 meter radius on the minimap for all allies to see, while also painting a random weak point with Banshee's energy color on their bodies for 30 seconds. Multiple weak points can be painted with multiple casts. Shooting the weak points increases the damage dealt by 500%. But wait, this can be increased further with the help of mods up to a whopping 1000%. But wait, if two weak points overlap, they multiply their damage, going from 15 times damage to 225 times damage with max power strength. <sighs> you think I'm done, don't you? Wrong. Resonance is the augment that triggers an additional sonar pulse with every killing blow dealt to a weak spot, with a duration equal to that of what the original has left, spreading weak points like a plague of bioluminescent tumors. Truly wonderful. Let's continue. With the help of silence, Banshee deafens all enemies in a 25 meter radius, making them unable to hear any sounds of any weapons being fired around them. While this may not be very helpful for Banshee herself, since that's what her passive already does, it is for her allies, assuming enemies are in range of silence. The skill would be rather situational if not for the fact that enemies also get stunned for 3 seconds when they first get affected by it. Though exiting and re-entering the area will restun them, and with the help of the Savage Silence augment, they are also prone to finisher attacks while stunned. Very helpful. Using Sound Quake, Banshee enters a channeling state where she cannot move, and begins sending sound waves outwards in a 20 meter radius around her, damaging and staggering enemies every second for as long as the ability is active. By itself, the ability covers quite a substantial area, but using the augment resonating quake, this turns into the ultimate crowd control ability. Because for every second that sound quick is active, its range is increased by 1 meter per second, its damage by 100 per second, but also the energy cost by 1 per second. All of that stacking up to 20 times, and assuming you have a build for maximum range, you can easily get 80 meters out of this, and at maximum stacks, it even does quite a bit of damage. This ability targets an enemy's torso by default, thus making it a decent combo ability when used with Sona, since if a weak point is in the area where the ability hits, it will do increased damage, though don't rely on this combo due to its random nature. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's take a look at our builds. 
The one that you already saw is an all-purpose one. You'll strip armor when facing Rainier with Sonic Boom, you'll increase your team's overall damage with Sonar, you'll deafen and stun mobs with Silence, and you'll give your team some breathing room when in great danger with the use of Soundquake. Also, trust me, I've tried. There's no way to accommodate for all three builds I'll show you on one single Banshee. No matter the combination of formas and mods, you'll end up lacking in one of them because of how different the mod polarities are. Now this here, this is where the fun begins. Maximizing power strength, decent duration and range, sonar will become a beast of a skill. You'll start hitting well into the millions with most weapons that are in full auto. The only major downside of this build is that you're basically made out of tissue paper, so you're very much dependent on your team for survival. But I guess it's just fair since every enemy you'll shoot at is basically made out of tissue paper as well. I mean, look at these level 140 heavy gunners. Who needs corrosive projection or armor stripping when they pop like balloons? A very good build if you're planning to do some long endless missions and your team already has tons of crowd control. Not so good for solo play, however. But what definitely is good for solo play is the next build. A true melee assassin build at its core, but pretty controversial, for two good reasons, or well at least that's what everyone keeps saying. One of them is that Banshee lacks in survivability, she is one of the squishiest frames in the game, which they are right, but thankfully you only need narrow-minded and savage silence augment for this build to work, everything else can be filled with defensive mods. Oh, and also a dagger with a covert lethality mod. I recommend the Raktadar dagger for its passive, which helps with survivability greatly. How this build works is basically the other reason why people say this won't work. People keep wanting to make silence recastable so it can stun enemies over and over and over again. Which, if you ask me, would suck. Pressing 3 every 3 seconds is no fun. Yeah. But what if we decrease the range to just 6 meters? That's where the narrow-minded mod comes in, which makes it so that only nearby enemies are stunned, meaning you can get near them and they can get stunned as you're in range to execute them. Oh, they're about to lose the stun? Well, no problem, roll out and roll back into them. Done, stun reapplied, easy as that. In this gameplay you're seeing, I never died once, and the only reason I had to extract is because not enough of them spawned to keep my oxygen reserves up. Overall a fun build, very strong too, totally worth a shot. See? Banshee ain't that bad as people keep thinking. In the Conclave, Banshee is all about keeping her distance from the enemy, but she's not to be taken lightly at close range either. She has her personal space which you need to respect or you can get in all sorts of trouble. Sonic Boom embodies those two things perfectly. If an enemy gets too close, this will make sure they keep their distance, knocking them down and lining them up for that perfect shot. Banshee will start the animation towards the direction you're looking when you press the button, but until the animation finishes, you can turn your camera towards the enemy and it will still hit them as long as they're in range. The range is kinda small, but it's manageable. When it comes to sonar, well I have mixed feelings. On one hand, it increases your damage dealt to the enemy quite substantially. On the other hand, it's heavily reliant on player skill to do so. A good skill in the hands of a good sniper, since it will allow that player to one-shot another frame. But for people like myself, using it and spraying someone with bullets is the best use they can get out of it, since some of the shots will eventually hit the weak spot, overall increasing your damage dealt, making it a pretty hit or miss skill. Literal. As for silence, well it works different than in PvE, but it's rather situational. It constantly silences every enemy within 20 meters for the duration of the skill, making it so they cannot use any of their skills, while also cancelling channel skills. Very useful when fighting certain frames, or when you know someone is abusing one skill to constantly kill you. The whole skill is basically a mind game played with the enemy. Do you use this skill in order to keep you safe, or do you use other skills in order to kill them? And finally, sound quack, <laughs> quake, which somewhat suffers from the same thing frames like Frost or Rhino do, 
cast time too long, range too small, but thankfully not that small, since it's 10 meters rather than 6, and it does quite a lot of damage if you manage to hit someone with it. Hell, it even one-shots someone if they're close enough. Not my cup of tea, however, unless I'm stuck in a small room or someone tries to melee me constantly. Overall, Banshee is a frame that brings utility, crowd control and damage to a team, as long as said team can keep her alive, that is. People should really stop underestimating her capabilities, since she has great late game qualities. Something not so many frames can boast about. Hope you enjoy this, see you all next time!